What's going on YouTube? At the gym, getting ready to go in. But before I do, I figured I'd drop some gems, so let's jump into it. Greatness is within all of us, right? It's in me, it's in you, shoot. <laughs> it's even in the birds, bruh. Every single creature has the ability to live out its best purpose and its highest purpose. But it's up to that creature, that individual, that person, that male, that female, that man, that woman to make sure that that happens. So how do you extract this out of yourself? Well, simply put, you do hard shit every single fucking day. Life is simple, but it's not easy. <laughs> and that's as best as I can put it. I don't even like going to the gym, bro. I'm going to be honest. Like, I kind of, these past couple of years, like, it's been kind of hard because I've been dealing with a lot of injuries in these past couple of years. So I feel like every time that I come to the gym, I'm like restarting. You know what I'm saying? I mean, obviously, I've been consistent for a decent amount of time now to where it's like I'm getting into phenomenal shape and I would probably say probably the best shape of my life. But I'm still working on bringing back like my strength and like my core stability, you know, like the little things. Right. And it's frustrating at times. That's why I'm sharing it. But at the end of the day, I can't expect myself to progress as an athlete, as a human, or even as an individual, whatever you want to say, unless I stick to my discipline. And my discipline has to involve, or it involves working out. And if I'm not perfecting that discipline, then I can't expect myself to get better and I can't expect anything to change in my life. If you get what I'm saying. If you want to be great, bro, you have to do things differently in your life. You're going to have to make a lot of fucking changes. You're going to have to cut people off. You're going to have to do things that you don't want to do. And most likely, actually not most likely, most definitely, you're going to have to make sacrifices. Everything is a sacrifice. I'm sacrificing my time in the gym right now. I could be doing anything else right now. I could be working on my business. I could be, shoot. I don't know, like <laughs> going to a choir, going to hang out with my friends, you know what I mean? L looking at who, God knows what, right? Like the, the possibilities are endless, but you get what I'm saying though. I am sacrificing my time for my discipline. You get what I'm saying? Like that is what it takes to be successful, bro. That is what it takes to be great. It's sacrifice. That is the ultimate fucking protagonist in the story. The story of greatness. The story of greatness goes like this. You are going to go through challenges. And if you succumb to those challenges, you will never, ever see it. However, if you get through those challenges, you will be able to acquire things that you won't even and couldn't even imagine. And I know it sounds, ah, oh, whatever, like you're just saying a bunch of big words or glamour and shit, like, nah. But it's really the truth, though. It's reality. Everything in my life has started to change based off of the fact that I'm getting calluses on my mind. I studied David Goggins a lot. Watched a lot of his interviews. Um, I read a little bit of his book. Uh, I haven't finished it, though. I, I really need to. But it's so true when he talks about getting calluses on your mind, bro, because it's like, the more hard shit that you do every single fucking day and you do it without complaining, you do it with a joyful heart, you know what I'm saying? And with all your heart and you put in maximum amount of effort, I'm telling you, bro, like it just does something to your psyche and it changes you as a person. I can't even explain it any better than that. It just changes you. Now, bro, like I can work 10, 11, 12 hours, bro, and literally come to the gym and still have full energy. Or go to a fucking doctor's appointment or handle some business or run some errands and, you know, do a bunch of different shit in a day that in the past would make me like, oh, fuck, I just want it to end. You know what I mean? Like certain things that used to stress me out don't stress me out anymore because I'm so used to doing stressful shit. That is like now it's just like, ah, oh, whatever. Fuck it. Yeah, I'll work 11 hours. Yeah, I'll do overtime. Yeah, I'll do this. Yeah, I'll do that. Yeah, I'll do this. Boom. 
You know what I'm saying? And it's just like, it's second nature at this point. It's literally second nature. This is the story of greatness, bro. If you want to extract the greatness out of you, bro, you got to do the inner work. Stop looking at your cell phone and looking at what everybody else is doing with their lives and trying to contemplate how you can hurry up and get rich. Like, no, figure out what you want to do with your fucking life. And then once you find out what your passion is and what you really, really love, then try to use ways to make money from it. That's how this shit works. Stop looking for get rich, get rich quick schemes and you know what I'm saying? Little shortcuts and everything like that, bro. Because I'm telling you this right now, bro. Anything that comes to you easy, bro, is not really even worth having. And that's just the honest to God truth because you won't even really fucking appreciate that shit unless you actually had to grind your fucking ass off for it. That's why I've always been so in love for fit in fitness is because fitness literally teaches you that you can't, <laughs> you can't get complacent because number one, you'll lose your fucking physique and you'll lose your strength. Number two, you'll plateau. And number three, it's a constant grind. Like you have to like stay at it day in and day out, day in and day out. And you can't shortcut anything. You can't shortcut your meals, can't shortcut your calories, can't shortcut your protein or your sleep. You know what I'm saying? Everything has to be in order in order for your body to grow. You know what I'm saying? It's the same thing in life. You can't just be focused all on getting your body right and then your mental fucking sucks ass. You're a shitty person. You know what I'm saying? You barely even get your homework done or barely even go to work. You know what I'm saying? You're just slacking off. You're just doing a bunch of bullshit. Like, nah. It's not how it goes, bro. Greatness is in you, yes, but you have to extract it. And I'm telling you, it is going to be the most painful fucking thing you've ever done in your life. Trust me when I say that shit. If you want to become great, if you want to be somebody in this life that's remembered after you die for generation after generation after generation, I'm telling you, bro, it is going to take an insane amount of work to the point where you're going to question everything in life. You're even going to question your own fucking sanity and people around you are going to question you. People around you are going to think that you're crazy and say all sorts of bullshit about you like, oh, you, you switched up or oh, you're this, oh, you're that. And that's just what comes with it, bro. It's not a coincidence that there's only a select few of people who are millionaires and who are super successful. Not saying that money is like, you know what I'm saying, the indication of success, but I'm just using that as, you know what I'm saying, an example. It's not a coincidence because becoming a millionaire is very fucking hard. It's not a coincidence that there's only a couple hundred people in the NBA. Same thing in the NFL. It's hard as fuck. It's hard. It is not fucking easy. You got to realize in life, bro, that this is not an even playing field and you have to figure out what your advantages are in life and fucking optimize those. Because trust me, everybody has an advantage and everybody has a disadvantage. Know that you have to think critically, bro. Life is literally like a game of chess. You have to think 10 steps ahead. You feel me? What are my advantages? I'll just use myself as an example. I have a big athletic frame. I'm 6'2", 6'3". I'm handsome. Okay, so what do I always think of? All right, I'm handsome. I'm tall. I'm athletic. Okay, what can I do with that that benefits me? Okay, I can start a YouTube. I can start an Instagram. I can start social media. You know what I'm saying? Marketing myself. I can talk to more people, try to make more connections because I look like a presentable human being and I'm a very charismatic person. I know how to speak well. I know how to articulate myself and my points and my ideals. You know what I'm saying? You have to understand like what you need to do and what you can do to get to that next level, right? I'm just using myself as an example. I'm not going to share my disadvantages because I have a bunch of enemies who are watching me, right? They're everywhere. I'm not telling you all my weakness. <laughs> Actually, yeah, I will. My weakness is, uh, it's like, no. You thought <laughs> it's big booty black bitches. <laughs> oh man. It's like, no, but, um, anyways, bro, to end off this video though, in all seriousness, weigh out the odds. You need to weigh out the odds. 
What is more important to you? Sitting on your ass, smoking weed, eating chips all fucking day? Going to the parties, posting on Snapchat, going on these little vacations to try to flex on people who don't even fucking matter? Or is staying disciplined and doing the things that you need to do to get to the next level that you hate to do more important? What is more important? Seriously, what, like honestly, what is more important? Because every single day that you're not working, somebody else who wants the exact same thing as you is working 10 times as hard while you're not even fucking doing shit. So the next time that you're about to slip up, slack off, or be a fucking pussy, somebody else is doing the exact opposite of that. And they're moving forward. So I'm gonna ask you again. What is more important? 